Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sabrina. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so excited to have you. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can become part of my community and grow with me. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, babe. Super excited to see you. Today I have a video for you guys on this updated makeup look that I have going on right here. This is something that I just do that's really, really simple. It's really easy. It's quick. And I just throw this on if I had to go to a meeting or anything where I just needed to look presentable. Obviously, every single day I do not wear makeup, but when I do, this is what I go for. So if you guys want to know how I achieve this look, then keep on watching. Hey you guys, so I'm starting off with a fresh face obviously and I'm going to go ahead and put on some Belief moisturizer. I have dry skin so this step is super necessary for me. Now I'm going to go in with this black opal foundation. It's a cream foundation. I love it so much um, and it's in rich caramel. I just put this under my eyes for an extra step to get a really brightening, beautiful, clean effect. Um, that is the main point of this video to have a nice natural look but i don't want to look tired so i go ahead and i make sure that i do this step before foundation and i make sure i pack it in with this flat bobby brown foundation brush i love this so much because it really just helps me move the product pack it in i do this before i go in with my beauty blender because i find that it gives me more coverage the beauty blender kind of soaks up um everything so yeah So now here I am, I'm just brushing those brows up and I am prepping to go ahead and use my Bare Minerals eyebrow pencil. This is a new one for me. I actually stick to Anastasia Beverly Hills um, pencil, eyebrow pencil, but I don't have that with me right now. So I'm just using this Bare Minerals. I'm working with what I have. And um, yeah, I just feel like with a pencil, you can get more precision. And I use a very, very light hand in making hair-like strokes. And I find that this is just the most natural way I get my brows and I love it. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my NARS um, concealer and I'm going to go ahead and carve those brows out and just clean it up a little bit. Nothing too crazy. This is a natural look so I'm not going to be going super heavy with the um, carving out. Just a little bit of cleaning up and you're good to go. Trust me. Once that's all done, I go in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in Butter Pecan, and I really focus that in where I didn't put any product yet on my face. So that's just my chin area, my lower half of my face, and then I'll use the excess what was on that sponge, and I'll go in under my eyes and a little bit on my forehead as well. Once that's all packed in, I go ahead and use that NARS concealer that we use on our brows and I go ahead and I put that under my eyes again. Now, I go ahead and do a little facelift, a little eye lift here, and this just makes my face look a lot brighter um, and I look awake, okay? So some days, I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired. <laughs> we all are, so 
going ahead with that extra step right there makes all the difference for me. And I'm gonna use the same technique and method with this flat foundation brush, packing it in, uh, making sure that all of that product is packed in and it's smooth. And then I'll go in with my beauty blender and make sure that I give it that blurring smooth effect. Now, I use this Iman foundation in a darker shade. I've used this because it is amazing, you guys. I love cream contouring. Again, oh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I will have all these products listed in the description bar below for you guys. I don't play that. Trust me, it's going to be there. <laughs> Um, but yes, I go ahead and I put this on my forehead and my cheeks, a little bit on my nose as well. You guys will see. But I love cream foundations because I can go ahead and use it as a concealer, as a contour, as a foundation, um, and it's just so much easier to move on the skin. Now I'm using my OG loose setting powder, my Laura Mercier, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pack that in under my eyes. I'm running out, girl. <laughs> so I packed that in under my eyes. I put a lot of product under my eyes, so it's really important that we set everything into place so it doesn't move throughout the day. So I just pack that in. I don't necessarily bake, but I use quite a bit and I just make sure that I keep on packing it in. Just pack it in, pack it in, pack it in. And then, of course, on the areas where I crease a lot, I'll go ahead and use this as well. Now, I'm using this Morphe palette in that subtle brown just to go ahead and set that contour that we did earlier on. And I really just focus this um, under my cheekbones. Wherever I place that contour, that cream contour is where I'll set it. But I also just really make sure that I follow the structure of my face when I'm contouring. And I feel like that's all you really can do, right? Like you just have to follow your facial structure. And as you can see, I'm not really making this too precise. This is a natural look, so I'm not going to go in and really fully contour my nose. Um, I'm just giving myself a little bit of depth on my face, and I think that is just perfect enough. Now I'm using my Sephora Smooth Skin Finish Powder and I am just gonna go ahead and pack that in to my under eyes. I did not sweep any of that Laura under my eyes off. I just went ahead and packed it into the skin. I find that this really helps my product stay into place as well and gives me a really great finish. Now onto my Fenty Skin Bronzer in Mocha Mommy. I just love this stuff and I really pack it in um, as a bronzer slash blush because I got it in a darker shade and this is amazing, you guys. Now onto eyes. You can opt for an eyelash here, but I go ahead and I put on this Tarte Mascara. That's enough for me. And then I go ahead and I pop on this really subtle brown eyeliner and I just kind of flick the ends of my eyes nothing too crazy but again I want my eyes to look a little bit lifted and awake so yeah I just go ahead and I do that I wasn't sure if I liked it this day but I ended up rocking with it back into that morphe palette I use this gold powder on the tip of my nose and on my nose bridge and that just gives me a glowing effect. And then I'll put a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. And then I use what we contoured with on my eyes, just giving my eyes some depth. 
Now for my lip combination, I go ahead and I use this NYX Matte Lip Liner in, what is it, Downtown Beauty. I love this stuff. It glides on so smooth. Um, I'm surprised I used it and I didn't use my MAC, but I love it. And then I go in with this matte lip cream from NYX again in Abu Dhabi and this fortune cookie lip gloss from NYX as well in the center of my lip. And I love this lip combination because it just looks so natural, but it does have a little bit of glam in it. So, you know, it's popping. And then, of course, my Fenty um, glass slipper lip gloss as well to top it off. Didn't have any of my normal setting spray, so I used some rose water, and I find this to be so hydrating for my skin. So absolutely love it. It's from Trader Joe's. And that's it, you guys. I went ahead and popped on some earrings, and here I am. I love it. This is my look, go-to for work, the grocery store, maybe going with your friends somewhere, shopping, Anywhere you want to go, this is the look to do if you just want to be clean and simple. I hope you guys loved this video. I loved filming it. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.